Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariongi. Today we continue with our topic of discussion. The topic is acids, bases, and salts, a topic in form for chemistry. And uh, today we are specifically uh, discussing solubility and solubility curves. So before we get into details about uh, solubility and solubility curves, it is important to understand what is solubility. And we say that solubility is the maximum mass of a given solute that can dissolve in 100 grams of a particular solvent at a particular temperature. So the maximum mass of a given solute that can dissolve in 100 grams of a particular solvent at a particular temperature. So in this case, uh, in our solubility curves, uh, we shall be using water as our solvent because we know that water is the universal solvent. So we can basically say that solubility is the highest mass of a given solute that can dissolve in 100 grams of a solvent at a particular temperature of course to make a saturated solution so when you dissolve the highest mass of a given solute in a hundred grams of a solvent at a particular temperature then that will make the solution to be saturated. So solubility is measured in grams per 100 grams of water at a particular temperature. So for example, we can say that solubility of salt X is 75 grams per 100 grams of water at 50 degrees Celsius. So it's always important to mention the temperature at which the solubility is determined. It's important to measure the particular temperature at which the solubility is determined. And the reason for that is because solubility of most salts changes with temperature. So like in this case, we are saying that solubility of salt X is 75 grams. This is the mass of solute that will dissolve in 100 grams of water at 50 degrees Celsius to make a saturated solution. <coughs> so on the other hand, <coughs> we can define a saturated solution is a solution that cannot dissolve any more solute, a solution that cannot dissolve or that cannot take in any more solute at a particular temperature, at a particular 
temperature. So we say that that uh, solution at that temperature it cannot take any more solute. The other point to note is that uh, solubility changes with the temperature. Solubility changes with the temperature. For example, we have some salts that will dissolve better at high temperature. Others will dissolve better at a low temperature. And others will dissolve at a constant solubility, irrespective of the temperature. Now, solubility can be plotted uh, against temperature. And when solubility is plotted against temperature, we come up with what we are calling the solubility curves. So let's now uh, discuss the solubility curves. And we can say that uh, a solubility curve represents solubility plotted against temperature. Of course, temperature in degrees Celsius. So we can have one here. So on the y-axis, we have solubility, and this is in grams per 100 grams of water. And this one is plotted against temperature in degrees Celsius. So for instance, uh, you may find that uh, the solubility of a salt like uh, potassium chloride behaves like that. That shows that uh, <clears throat> the solubility of potassium chloride increases with increase in temperature. We can have another maybe salt that also behaves the same way like potassium chlorate Also, its solubility is increasing with increase in temperature. We can still have another uh, solubility curve of something like sodium chloride, whereby the solubility does not change much with respect to temperature. So the solubility is tending to remain almost the same, irrespective of the temperature. But we are saying that for most of the salts, the solubility tend to increase with increase in temperature. So we still have some salts whereby the solubility will decrease uh, with an increase in temperature. So that shows that uh, it will show a descending curve. So this is a solubility curve for potassium chloride, potassium chlorate, and sodium chloride. So this, that's just a sketch of the solubility curve. <coughs> so having understood the solubility and the solubility curve, uh, we want to look at uh, how this can be applied in terms of equation.
So the assignment, the first question, what is solubility? And what are the units of expressing it? What units do we use to express solubility? And then number two, sketch a solubility curve of two salts, X and Y, whereby the solubility of X increases with the temperature, while that of Y decreases with the temperature. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. Thank <music> you.